artist of the Harlem Renaissance. Aaron Douglas was a successful painter and graphic artist in the 1930s. He was born in 1899 and died in 1963, leaving the legacy as the father of black American art. His first art piece he made was called Saji and was inspired by African culture and art. Shown to the right is another piece of artwork by Aaron Douglas called Into Bondage, which depicts enslaved African Americans. The places he made his artwork were Topeka, Kansas, Nashville, Tennessee, but mostly Harlem, New York City in New York. Later in the 1930s, Douglas returned to Frisk University and founded the school's art department. Augusta Savage was born in Green Cove Springs, Florida, and was a sculptor in the Harlem Renaissance. One of her best pieces was the harp, Lift Every Voice and Sing. Savage was known as a sculptor, but also an art teacher and community art program director. Augusta Savage was an accomplished teacher whose studio helped raise many other successful artists. Another piece she made was called Gwendolyn Knight and was made in 1935 at the Harlem Art Workshop. The subject of this piece was an art student of hers who she thought as a stunning beauty. Lois Melieu Jones was born in 1905 in Boston, Massachusetts. One of her best paintings was Le Fetiche. Le Fetiche is an image of five overlapping masks from different African cultures which show a mysterious spiritual dimension. Lois married Louis Vigron de Pierre Noël in 1953. Another famous painting done by her was Moon Mask, made in 1971. A speculated representation of this piece is that the mask in the center is a weeping for the situation of African Americans. Jacob Lawrence was born in Atlantic City, New Jersey in 1917. He unveiled his first piece at the Harlem YMCA. This piece pictured to the left was part of Lawrence's migration series. Jacob Lawrence was one of the most acclaimed African American artists of the 20th century. To the right is another one of Lawrence's paintings, which was called The Builders. This piece was acquisitioned by the White House Acquisition Trust. Palmer Hayden was born on January 15, 1890 in Widewater, Virginia. A fun fact about him is that only when he enlisted in the Army did he formally connect with his art. This piece shown to the right was his first piece called Fetiche Fleur. Before moving to Harlem, New York, Palmer Hayden created most of his artwork in Booth Bay, Maine. Another piece Palmer Hayden made was called The Janitor Who Paints. This piece of art was inspired by his friend who was also a working janitor. Charles Arlston was born in Charlotte, North Carolina in 1907. A fun fact about him is that his father nicknamed him Spinky. Not so fun was that his father died when he was three. One of his first pieces of art called Trobador is shown to the left. Charles Alston directed art programs and community centers in New York. To the left is another piece of art by Charles called Flowers of Evil. In this piece, he tried to establish the contrast between beauty and malignant. And here's the bibliography. Yay.